fly, feeling better, flying high, the postman waves the bat. Bye bye. Thanks, the pilot. First class flight. Bails out at a dizzy height and lands with a bump on a biscuit tin. Is anyone in? Meanwhile, a wolf in postman's clothes. How did he get them? Goodness knows. Arrives to offer bad advice. Shut your eyes. This part's not nice. Eat me. Drink me. That won't do. This'll solve it. I'll eat you. No fear, the postman cries. You scamp and climbs to the nearest stamp. Here he is, climbing to the nearest stamp. Ooh, another letter. What does it say, Rupert? Tin soldiers. What next? The breathless, stamp-sized postman. No time for rhyme. He's getting smaller still. Clambers in through the window, past the curtains, to a charming room full of toys and children, set upon by a spider. Number two, in up the spout, probably. He takes refuge in a box of tin soldiers, one of whom is particularly steadfast on only one leg. Do you know the story? Meanwhile, the gingerbread boy, you'll be glad to hear, has made his escape. Run, run as fast as you can. Like you, you can't catch me. I'm riding a bike. Only then he gets a puncture. More of him later. Soon the soldiers are removed from the box by a little girl. She places the postman plus dog on guard on the window sill, and incidentally puts the one-legged soldier in a castle with a beautiful paper dancer where they live happily ever after. This is the jolly version. Next thing, wow, a draught billows the curtains and out tumbles the postman. Fool, number two, no parachute though. Then up pops the spider again, down the spout. This time it, it'd be raining. Luckily, a boy comes along, finds the postman and sails him in a paper boat in the rainwater down the gutter and then unluckily down the drain. Help, tunnel number two, rat number two, disaster number 22. Out shoots the postman in his soggy boat. And down he sinks into the mighty river. Is this the end? No. Next thing, Jonah and the whale. He's swallowed by a fish, which not, which not long after gets caught and carried off to market, bought and brought home to the very house the postman started out from. But no time for rhyme, no time for coincidences. The postman's still in peril, about to be cooked for tea. Fish and postman pie. Oh my, his giant voices. The cook is shouting. There's pepper everywhere and a howling baby. Or is it a pig? Oh dear, we're running out of space. Can you read this at the back? Anyway, the postman sees his chance. The baby and the cook are sneezing and tiptoes from the pie dish. We're getting out of here, he tells his dog. And they do. <sighs> so, away from the house and down the lane, the peppered postman racks his brain. As he worries more about being less, he meets a girl in a gingham dress. A scarecrow, a lion, a tall tin man who offer to help him all they can. You must come with us, they cry, because we're off to see the Wizard of Oz. Then, just when the postman's about to agree, he's blown away by sneeze number three. Sissue! Blow me down, blow my nose, man in daisy, dog in rose. Meanwhile, above them in the sky, a flying letter flutters by. Without a name and no address, for whom is it intended? Guess. Postage paid, sunny side of the street.